I'm Paul Minnis. I'm a professor of anthropology at the University of Oklahoma. I do archaeology of the uh, northern Mexico and the United States Southwest, and I particularly study plant remains from archaeological sites as well as doing general archaeological research. My colleague, Michael Whalen, at the University of Tulsa, and I have been conducting research uh, around Casas Grandes in northwestern Chihuahua. It is one of the premier sites. It's a World Heritage Site recognized by UNESCO and, and, and a deep source of pride to the people of northern Mexico. Casas Grandes is famous because it has an incredible number and diversity of Mesoamerican items. Things like a ton and a half of uh, seashells came from one room, uh, copper items, uh, more scarlet macaws or carrots were found at Casas Grandes than any other site that was a center of trade. And yet uh, the really economic core of the society was their farming. One of the issues that you find in archaeology is so much of art history and so many of the museums focus on the really fancy artifacts that really were not important parts of everyday life. Uh, you know, not everybody in America owns a Bugatti car, and yet if you go to car museums, you get the fancy stuff. Most of us have Chevys and Fords, and so by doing archaeology, we can reveal the lives of most of the people as well as uh, the centers where the most influential people live. One of the fun little discoveries last summer in excavating a room underneath the floor, uh, we found trash deposits. So people had deposited trash and then had built the room on top. And in the trash, along with the debris of uh, firewood, you know, things of that nature, and corn and, you know, other kinds of uh, plant remains, we found the very first cultivated chili seed that was ever been found in the prehistoric southwest and northwest of Mexico. So the question is, uh, was chili, did it somehow never come to the southwest, or for some reason it wasn't used? That one little tiny black speck charred chili seed that we found in that subfloor trash from a moderate-sized room in Casas Grandes area that we excavated last summer indicates that chili, there in fact chili, cultivated chili, was in the southwest. It wasn't widely used. And so it was there. So we know that at least in one place that it made it to the southwest. And so that one explanation that it never came to the Southwest, it seems, uh, and Northwest Mexico is not right.